In a world where communication has become more about convenience than quality, taking the time to truly converse and actively listen to one another can bridge the gap and build stronger connections. Let's talk about it on A Word with Anthony Walker. Today's word is converse. Converse. Noun. Communication or dialogue between two or more people. When you think about the word converse, you can't help but think about the shoe brand Converse. But let's not focus on that for now. Instead, let's focus on the root of the word converser, a Latin term meaning to keep company with. This suggests a mutual exchange between two or more people. Communication is a fundamental part of being human, and it's something that we do all the time. However, true communication requires more than just talking. It requires active listening, understanding, and empathy. It's the only way that we can truly connect with one another. In today's world, communication is easier than ever before. We have access to technology that allows us to communicate with people all over the world in real time. We can video chat, text, and email all at the touch of a button. But despite this convenience, it seems that we're more disconnected than ever before. We're living in a time where it's easier to send a text message than it is to pick up the phone and have a conversation. We're so busy trying to get our point across that we don't take time to truly listen to what the other person has to say. We're so focused on what we want to say that we don't take the time to consider how the other person might feel. But what if we took the time to truly converse with one another? What if we listened without judgment or interruption? What if we took the time to understand one another's perspectives? We might find that we may have more in common than we think. We may find that our differences aren't as great as we thought they were. We might even find that we can learn something from one another. Get this, 90% of all communication is nonverbal. So talking doesn't convey most of the story. Conversing isn't just about talking. It's about creating a connection with someone else. It's about sharing ideas, thoughts, and feelings in a way that allows us to grow and learn. It's about being open and vulnerable with one another. When we converse, we create a safe space where we can be our authentic selves. But how do we create this space? It starts with active listening. When we listen, we show the other person that we value what they have to say. We give them our full attention without distraction. We ask questions to clarify our understanding and we validate their feelings. We might not always agree with what the other person is saying, but we can still respect their perspective. Their perspective, just like your perspective, has been crafted over time with varying influences and experiences. Therefore, we must make a special effort to hear what they're trying to say, actively, not passively. Once we've established active listening, we can begin to share our own thoughts and feelings. We can speak from the heart and be honest about our own experiences. We can share our own perspectives and ask the other person to do the same. When we do this, we create a dialogue where we can learn from one another. 
Conversing isn't always easy. It can be uncomfortable to share our innermost thoughts and feelings with someone else. But when we do, we open ourselves up to new possibilities. We create deeper connections with others and we learn more about ourselves in the process. So the next time you find yourself in a conversation, try to really converse. Put down your phone, turn off the TV, and give the other person your full attention. Listen actively and speak from the heart. You might be surprised at what you can learn. I was recently in a Twitter space and the experience surprised me. The Twitter space was discussing a recent hot button polarizing issue. It was one that I knew could be an explosion. In addition, the host of the space openly stated that he hadn't planned in depth for the session. He just decided that he needed to have the conversation. The way he handled it was brilliant. He allowed people from varying sides to have their say in the conversation. What came out of the session was the revelation that some people's perspective was more complex and nuanced rather than just a polarizing binary position. There were areas of agreement on both sides. There were areas of disagreement from the same side. And some positions were radical, but palatable and understandable at the same time. But what really took the cake was the fact that the whole time the conversation was respectful and peaceful. Twitter can be a vicious tribal area of social media, but for a moment it was peaceful, at least in the space I was in. There are benefits when the effort is made to have a meaningful conversation. The benefits of engaging in real conversation with others are numerous and can have a profound impact on our lives. I like to look at these four P's of communication. First, partnering. Conversing with others can create deeper connections and build more meaningful relationships. When we take the time to listen and understand someone else's perspective, we demonstrate that we value them and their experiences. This creates a sense of trust and rapport that can lead to stronger and more fulfilling relationships. Secondly, pondering. In addition to building deeper connections, conversations can also help us learn more about ourselves. By engaging in honest, open dialogue with others, we may discover new insights and perspectives that we had not considered before. This can lead to personal growth and a better understanding of ourselves and our place in the world. Thirdly, perceiving. Conversations can also open us up to new possibilities. By being willing to listen to others, we may discover new ideas or opportunities that we had not considered before. This can lead to personal and professional growth, as well as new experiences and new opportunities. Finally, practicing. Engaging in real conversation with others can help us become more empathetic and understanding. By listening to others and respecting their perspectives, we can develop a greater sense of compassion and empathy for others. This can improve our relationships and make us more effective communicators in all aspects of our lives. The benefit of engaging in real conversation with others are significant and can have a profound impact on our lives. By taking the time to truly listen and understand others, we can build deeper connections, learn more about ourselves, open ourselves up to new possibilities, 
and become more empathetic and understanding individuals. So again, let's put down our distractions and engage in real conversation with those around us. So what are these distractions? Sometimes these distractions can be tangible, physical distractions. Phones or TVs or things like that. But oftentimes these distractions can be constructs within our imagination, stereotypes, divisions that keep us from actually engaging in a conversation. It's easy to categorize someone by a political stance or by an identity or just by looking at them by the color of their skin. It's more difficult, but definitely more engaging to have a conversation. We have become so socially awkward that we would rather use stereotypes to be the gateway into a relationship rather than engaging in a conversation. So let's conclude our conversation about conversation. Communication is fundamental to our human experience. In the modern world, even though it has changed and become more disconnected despite technological advances, there is power in communication and power of conversation. There are real benefits of active listening, and there is significance in sharing our own thoughts and feelings. Now it's time to really converse in your conversations. It's easy to get caught up in distractions and not give your full attention to people that you're talking to. But again, and hear me clearly, if you put down the distractions and give your full attention, you'll see the potential for learning and growth from the conversation. By truly listening and understanding and empathizing with others, we can create deeper connections and learn more about ourselves. We open ourselves up to new possibilities and vulnerabilities and find common ground where we might not have thought possible. In short, then we create a safe space where we can be our authentic selves. So let's make a commitment to truly converse in our conversations. Let's listen without judgment or interruption. Ask questions to clarify understanding and always respect different perspectives. Let's speak from the heart, be passionate, be honest about our experiences. Let's create a dialogue where we can learn from one another. As always, thank you for sharing a word with Anthony Walker.